y'all what it is, what it do. It's your boy Jay Smooth. Welcome to another episode of Smooth Customs. And this episode here, it's a very special one. It's the reveal of my brand new project car. Now, some of y'all might be wondering what it is, so I'm going to keep you in suspense for a little bit longer. And what I did is, I got on the computer, I searched online, I found myself the cheapest car I could possibly find. That's right. Remember, we're balling on a budget here, the most bang for your buck. So, got my hands on a good project car in really good condition for the lowest price that I could possibly find it. The one, the closest one that I found was in San Diego. And I found some here local in Las Vegas, but unfortunately here in Vegas, the car scene is not as big as it is in California. So. I had to take a drive down to San Diego, and I got my hands on this beauty. Now, some of the plans that I got in store for it is definitely a color change. Uh, the interior is in great condition. I kind of don't want to mess with it now. I was thinking about reupholstering it, depending on the condition of the interior of the car I found. But this one right here, uh, you'll see. Interior is pristine. Uh, first thing first, I'm gonna wash this bad boy get it all cleaned up, vacuumed up, and then we're gonna start working on the tablet because that's first and foremost, gotta get the sound system going. But anyways, so I'm gonna have to do some work in the trunk to figure out how to fit a 12 inch subwoofer, amps, and I'm gonna have to make room for air ride. That's right, we're doing air ride. I got my air ride system, it's been sitting here for two years. I was gonna use it on my Lexus GS, but it's gonna go into this new project car. So we're gonna do the air ride suspension. What else? Uh, a lot of stuff, I gotta roll the fenders. I'm gonna, for right now, I'm probably gonna take the wheels off my GS and put it on this car. Hopefully those 20s fit. I'm not sure if they will. Um, I'm gonna have to roll the fenders before I can even drop this thing. And on this particular car, here's another clue. I'm gonna have to relocate the main wire harness because when you drop it, it hits, it rubs on the tire. So I'm gonna have to take the fender off and move it up, relocate it, get some zip ties going, and get it all nicely tucked up in there so I don't mess up the main wire harness when I drop this bad boy. Uh, what else? What else is this store? Oh, definitely. If you don't know by now, I'm gonna go VIP ish on it. VIP style, so I want to put some tables in it. So I'm gonna make uh, one brand new front table, and I'm gonna make the tables that go behind the seat. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do the center one. I know some of you guys have been asking me for that rear center one, so I might just make one, even though I might not leave it in there just for show purposes. I'll put it in there. What else is going on with this? Uh, yeah, I think I can't think of anything else right now, but. You know, you guys are gonna help me along with this process, and uh, and we're gonna see what we're gonna get done on this thing. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna crack open the headlights and the tail lights. I'm gonna do some acrylic work. Uh, you know, trying to get this thing to look a little bit more up to date because this car is old. It's an 18 year old car. So, anyways, it's a classic or like a new classic. Trust me though, this thing is solid. All right, so without further ado, here we go. It's the reveal of the brand new project car. All right, hit the lights. Yeah, 570s in the building. Y'all got five seconds to report to the dance floor. It's about to go down right now. Where my ladies at? Where my fellas at? Where my ladies at? Where my fellas at? My people in the back say, show me the money. My people in the front say, show me the money. Everybody in the house say, show me the money. Everybody in the house say, show me the money. Stop hating, keep it moving. Stop hating, keep it moving. Where my ladies at? Where my fellas at? Everybody in the house say, show me the money. There it is, y'all. 2000 Lexus LS 400. And in pretty good condition. I don't see any major dents, 
couple of dings, you know, from people opening their doors because people are assholes at the supermarket. But I said, clean exterior, clean interior, black on black. Yeah, that's it. Super clean interior, not a tear in the seat. Just needs a little armor off, a little TLC, that's all. And so the first order of business is gonna be to take that stock head unit out of here and put a tablet. All right? Can't wait to start working on this. I got a lot of things that I'm gonna do to this thing, or at least plan to. Now. <clears throat> I already did a couple of things to it, but one of the major things that I did, and actually it was only an $18 fix, and this shit annoys me. Every time I see online people with their 400s or any older Lexus, they got some stick holding it up. I don't. Got these brand new shocks on eBay for 18 bucks. And look at that holds it up just nice no stick holding up this baby you know opens up all the way nice and tight this is a heavy ass hood for real but yep there it is everybody so alright well there you have it a 2000 Lexus LS 400, the brand new project car. I got this thing for 1400. I found it listed on the internet for 1500. You know, I had to do a little negotiating, talk them down because I'm balling on a budget. This thing is clean, cleaner than what I've expected I was gonna get my hands on. I mean, I don't have to buy headlights, I don't have to buy tail lights, I don't have to buy. Uh, the side markers, I mean those things are intact, they look good, they're not yellowy. Uh, for a car that's 18 years old, I'm saying it's in great condition. Now the fog lights are a little yellow, no big deal because the plan is I'm going to chop that bumper off and I'm going to graft on a bumper from an LS460. That's right, uh, I'm going to try to do the front bumper, I'm going to also put the rear bumper off the LS460 because I like how it has the the exhaust pipes in the bumper so I'm gonna put those in uh, I might need some side skirts those shouldn't be too expensive I'll probably just get some off of eBay of course my favorite place to shop and uh, yeah rims I'm gonna change later on down the line I want you guys to put in suggestions I don't know I, I mean I want something where the VIP you know purists aren't gonna clown me on and uh, and also, you know, give me some respect on those. But I'm not trying to break the bank because it's balling on the budget. So more than likely, I'm going to end up getting my hands on a nice set of used wheels. But that's okay because we're balling on a budget. Um, yeah, get some nice wheels. I don't know. Um, like I said, I don't know if these 20s are going to fit that I'm going to put on it. I've seen a lot of people go 19. Um, I don't know, 19 by 9 and by 10 staggered, or I seen 11 in the rear, depending on how much I have to roll the fenders. I mean, I don't know yet. And then, I don't know if I want to paint it, I don't know if I want to wrap it. Uh, I do have some things in mind, you know, I was kind of thinking like a dark burgundy red pearl, either repaint it or do a wrap. Uh, I want to keep the black accents, I want to do uh, black out all the emblems, black out the grill, and I don't know if I go all black on the wheels or if I go, you know, black face with a, with a chrome lip, I don't know right now. So we're just starting. It's going to be from beginning to end. Uh, hopefully it's not too long of a process, but I'm going to try to work on it as much as possible. I already got on the internet and I ordered a lot of parts for it, mostly to get the interior radio tablet setup finished out. I want to get that first and then move on to other things, tables, uh, definitely got to tint the windows. This thing looks like a fishbowl. But anyways, so that's my LS400 land yacht. Hope you guys like it. I hope you guys stay tuned. Subscribe. 
turn on the notifications, leave comments. Uh, let me hear what you guys want me to do with this thing. Um, I don't want to. I know I don't want to call it like a VIP, but it's like a budget VIP is what I'm gonna go with. Uh, it's a, my version of what VIP style uh, I can accomplish on a budget because really some of these dudes that do VIP stuff, man, they go all out. Them VIP'd out tables are starting off like at 350 and up. Uh, the wheels are like over two grand. That's not even including tires. Um, the headlight and tail light retrofit stuff that like Central Pine sells, which is really dope. You know, I love their stuff, but it's it's a little pricey. You know, if I wanted to go with some like chasing tail lights, those things are like starting off like at a thousand. Um, you know, stuff stuff that they got is really cool and it's custom. But I'm gonna try to do something kind of like it, but on a budget, of course. It's not gonna be. Probably not gonna be as nice as their stuff. It's probably not gonna be all sequential light show going on, but it'll give it the effect. Uh, hopefully we can get some street cred props on this thing when we take it out to some meets. All right, well, that's it for this episode. Stay tuned, tablets coming, more stuff to come. I'm gonna be alternating between this build and um, the wife's SUV that's coming. Uh, I don't know. I got a couple of friends that got cars. They want to start their want to work on their projects So uh, I'll probably be working on their stuff throughout so hopefully we can get this thing knocked out I don't know as far as a deadline. I don't have one uh, I'm gonna try to post videos more regularly. I know it was like a long break from the last one, but hey I'm trying to get this page started uh, You know the subscribers are coming in so hopefully we can build the channel uh, really and you know, really, I just like cars. I like working on cars and you know, model cars, real cars, anybody else's cars, my car. So whatever I could get done, I will. Now, my budget is low. I'm balling on a budget. So I don't know. Let me know if you guys think I should do like a Patreon or not. Um, I kind of, you know, maybe I can get you guys to start chip, chipping in for the project. Like the money that comes in is gonna go directly to the project, not my pocket. But anyways, all right, that's it. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, turn on notifications, leave comments, and see you on the next one. Peace. So tell me what do